Hello everyone, Pazu here. Welcome back to Deadly Premonition, the director's card. And I have gone back to the room and put away some items. Some food items. Because I have too many. And this looks like a map. For a simple guide to Greenville with an overview of the shops in town. A and G Diner, delicious turkey sandwiches. Milk Barn, convenience store with rock and roll music. Enjoy your evenings like the Galaxy of Terror and Swery 65. Too many drinks. Drop by the Greenville General Hospital. Hmm. And okay, before I go into the cafeteria, why don't we head up here? History of Greenville Industry. So second floor. And wait, there's nothing here. It's so only a sitting area. It tells us here that the deer hunters score points according to the number of antlers on the prey. If all the culprits we brought in had antlers, what would our score be by now? Huh? <laughs> That's weird. Deer hunting was popular in this town. This article says one family had their six-year-old daughter practice shooting with pig's hair as a target. Better watch out for hunting aficionados among the ladies here. Hmm, so I can read them all. Oh, yeah. The records say that many schools closed down on the opening day of the hunting season. So many kids would skip school that they decided to make it official. Maybe we should think about taking the day off ourselves, an opening day, on opening day. Though there is controversy concerning the cruelty of shooting game for entertainment. Deer hunting helps keep the deer population in check, thus maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Could homicides be helping us keep our own numbers in check, I wonder? What? <laughs> Who wrote this? Wow! <laughs> uh, there are more. This article is just weird. <laughs> Deer hunting season opens. Greenlow, known for his love of hunting, practically allows hunting all year round. Though the type of prey depends on the season bears, turkeys, pheasants, crows, ducks, wild ducks, geese, and rabbits among them. This town must be a hunting nirvana for the aficionados. <laughs> Uh, the display shows Greenville official hunting rules. Do not shoot females. Oh, males are scored according to their number of antlers. And consult the taxidermist for rare specimens. Various clauses of deer hunting. If they shot us by accident, do you think they stuff us on... <laughs> what? <laughs> if they shot us by accident, do you think they stuff us as rare specimens? <laughs> oh, good analogy. So dear hunters, don't shoot the dudes. I figure all ladies deserve special attention. <laughs> oh, only one page, only one line. That's the only rule of the game. Hmm, doesn't seem to be any of value to me. What do you think, Zack? Yeah, what do you think, Zack? The glories of days long past, showcased in such small package. Maybe this was the extent of their glory. <laughs> hey, two more display cases. Old tools used long ago for lumber milling. <laughs> Not that I know what they are for, though. And this display is getting me all nostalgic. Uh, oh, that is it. Wow, very interesting displays. Very weird. And I'm still alone in the hotel. Where is everyone? Okay, so the cafeteria is right here. Oh, and the vending machines. Can I buy something here? What can I buy? 
Uh, lollipop? No. Crackers? No, I have those. I'm finished. Yeah, so the game has hunger level and sleep level. So it's better to keep them in the green levels, I suppose. On the left. Hmm, wonder what happened if I stop myself. Do I faint? Or even die completely? Coffee. And coffee. Oh, black coffee and milk coffee. Wow, black coffee costs more than double. <laughs> All right, let's head into the cafeteria. That's where we need to be. Oh, someone is here. <laughs> Besides me. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. And you work here. Polly, Polly Oxford. Hotel owner. Thank oh. you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Oh. <laughs> is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? That's one long table. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't oh. help but notice. I'm Aside the only one. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? <laughs> the salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. <laughs> oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, <laughs> I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. Yes. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah, sure. Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? 
Oh, yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it, too, I think. I look forward to hearing it, then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Uh, tell me about the shops here. Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though, I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. And coffee. There's a lot of milk. Oh, look with interest, huh? What am I looking at? Did you see that, Zach? <laughs> Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. <laughs> Never fails. F. K. Now then, let's get going. All right, let's get going. F. K. Whatever that stands for. <laughs> Yeah, my hunger level is at the maximum. Ooh, is this a buffet? Meals are served buffet style, nothing noteworthy on the menus, with the hotel being this big. I'm not worried about the quality of the food, but I'm up for junk food any day. Right, Zack? <laughs> Junk food. Oh. And... Oh, the same thing. And what is this? Coffee again? No. So, Polly, where are you now? Maybe the front desk? Yeah, she's right there. Let's talk to her some more. So, am I really the only guest here inside the hotel? Oh, hi. Oh, no voiceover now. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you are the sales girl too, aren't you? It's the sales lady, not sales girl. <laughs> yes, that is right. Coffee comes as it said with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. Oh, alright then. Do you want something? Uh, what can I buy here? So coffee again, stabilizer. I have that. Cigarette, uh, lollipop, crackers, donut, ooh, cheddar cheese, a bait, hmm, normal worm, use it with a fishing rod. So there are fishing items here. Hmm, that means I can go fishing later on. Okay, I will buy those things when uh, the time comes, so let's skip them for now. No. That is all. Yeah. 
Alright, thank you, Mr. Morgan, and try to take it easy today, okay? Yeah, you too, Polly. Alright, I think it is time to get out of the hotel and take a look around town. And... We are done! With the first day of investigation, apparently. <laughs> so that means we are going into the second day?